Hi folks, Dane here, and today I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek tour of my TBR shelves. Now obviously this is kind of ever-changing because I'm always picking up new books from charity shops and bookshops and all of that kind of stuff. Now this is actually a bookcase that's built into my living room, so it was kind of one of the reasons why I, I chose to live where I'm living now, just so that I could have this cool little bookcase. I try and keep it alphabetized where possible, but also, I mean, there are just so many books in there that they're all piled on top of each other. And as you can see, I tend to go for a mixture of kind of new books and secondhand books, whatever I can get my hands on, really. Feel free to leave a comment below, by the way, if you've read any of these books and you think I should hurry up and get to them. Those Alexander Masters ones there are from a press event I went to a while back. I did, uh, did a review of his new release and they gave me his entire back catalogue, so I've kind of slowly started working my way through it. A little bit of Asimov there, that book next to Adrian Baldwin, he's an indie author. I'm actually a character in Stanley McLeod Must Die. I believe I get murdered by somebody, but he did ask if he could use my name and I said yes. Little tiny Gilliam Flynn book there that I need to hurry up and get to as well. Some of this stuff's been on there for ages, like Deliberate Prose by Allen Ginsberg. That's literally, you know, essays and letters and that kind of thing, so I'm in no rush to get to it. Dune I picked up a few months ago and I'm just intimidated by its sheer size, to be honest. We get to this point, this is where all my sort of Stephen King books are. So when I pick those off my shelf, it obviously lets me buy a bunch of new books to fill the, uh, the slot it leaves, which is good news. A lot of the classics I've got in here, like Moby Dick as well, I've just talked myself out of starting them. There's this massive World Poets book here that's about 600 pages long, so I probably will read it at some point, but not right now. I also have a lot of these like really old books, like that one there was an old Shakespeare play in a sort of beautifully little bound hardback copy. Then up here at the top, this is where we've got all of my books. I'd actually forgotten I'd filmed this part. So I write books myself as well, and I kind of have to stock up so I have loads of copies for, you know, sending to bloggers and all that kind of thing. So I use that top shelf up there to keep them all in one place. So there you have it, there's my TBR shelves and my green screen beside it. Hope you enjoyed this little tour. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and I will see you sometime soon. Bye.